The history of hand transplants. Hand transplantation is a surgical procedure that has evolved from close collaborations between reconstructive and transplant surgeons. Technically, the procedure is similar to hand transplantation, and the microsurgical techniques required have been well established for many years. However, it expands on some of the immunoregulatory challenges experienced with solid organ transplantation. Unlike single organ transplants, a hand transplant is a composite tissue along transplantation CTA, consisting of skin, muscle, tendons, bone, cartilage, fat, nerves, and blood vessels. Each individual tissue possesses a different degree of antigenity. Skin, being the most antigenic organ in the human body, elicits a strong immune response when recognized as a foreign tissue. It was therefore believed that the only way to prevent acute rejection of a hand graft will be to immunosuppress the patient to such an extent that the resulting complication would outweigh the benefits of the operation. A team of surgeons in Ecuador performed the first documented attempt at hand transplantation in 1964. During this time, immunosuppressive treatment was in its infancy. A regimen of prednisone and azotipirone wasn't sufficient to prevent irreversible acute rejection within two weeks of the procedure. At the time, leaders in the field of transplant surgery believed that overcoming the immunogenity of CTA was an unattainable prospect. Although the development of CTA seemed to have reached a standstill, the next three decades saw major advance in solid organ transplantation. These improvements coin coincided with the development of enhanced immunosuppressive drugs including calcineurin inhibitors such as cyclosporin A and tacrolimus and the antimetabolite myocephanolite mofetil. With a better arsenal of drug therapy at their disposal, researchers re reignited their interest in CTA. They used animal models such as rat hint limb allograft to attempt to overcome the immunological barriers inherent to CTA. By the 1980s, Black et al. were able to demonstrate long-term survival of limb transplantation using low-dose psilocyropin. These results show for the first time that CTA was a future clinical possibility. In September 1998, the first human hand transplant was performed by a surgeon team of Lyons, France. The team, led by Jean-Michel Dabernard, transplanted the right forearm of brain-dead donor to a male recipient with a traumatic mid-forearm amputation. This procedure lasted just over 13 hours, however, its initial success would be only be short-lived. The patient wasn't able to adapt psychologically to the assimilation of an unfamiliar hand. He eventually stopped following his post preparative immunosuppressive regimen, resulting in acute tissue rejection. In 2001, he eventually required surgical amputation of the graft. Within a year, the Louisville hand transplant team in the USA achieved long-term hand graft survival. Their work was central to the subsequent success seen in hand transplant centers around the world. Their progress in the field of CTA had been previously been slow and protracted. Rapid advances were beginning to be seen. The first ever double hand transplant was performed in Lyons in Jan January 2000. As when inflation of the immune response become more refined using conventional immunosuppression. This paved the way for the other forms of CTAs to be used and face transplantation soon became a reality. In May 2002, the Bernard founded the International Registry on Hand and Composite Tissue Transplantation, IRHSTT. This aimed to advance the science of CTA by combining clinical experience from around the world 
and making it easily accessible to transplant specialists in the international community. In 2008 and 2010, the R IRHCTT published outcome data based on all the cases that have been submitted to the registry. The records of 33 patients who had received unlateral or bilateral hand transplants since 1998 were analyzed, although acute rejections episodes occurred in 85 chance of subjects within the first year, these were all successfully managed by altering the post immunosuppressive regimen. In fact, current long-term graft survival was found to be 94 divided by 100, and graft failure was solely due to non-compliance with immunosuppressive medication. Therefore, despite the heterogeneity of foreign antigens associated with CTA, current immunosuppressive Suppressive protocols have proved to be effective in preventing rejection in patients with hand transplants. In addition to IRH-SPT, reported encouraging functional outcomes. 100% of patients recovered protective sensation. 90% of patients developed tactical sensation, while 82% Percent also recovered discriminative sensation. Hand movements was achieved in all patients, enabling them to perform most daily activities, including eating, grasping objects, and shaving. These factors have enabled many of these patients to return to work following surgery.